Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm going to show you some very important methods of the math class uh, uh, and uh, using numeric stepper component uh, uh, in this example. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to show you people is uh, straight away a published preview by hitting control enter and then probably I'll be able to explain things a lot more easier. So here goes control enter on the keyboard people to export the Swift test the movie all right here you go okay now there are very um, there's some very important methods of the math class that we use quite a lot more than others and they are math.seal math.flow math.round math.random uh, two precision and two fix methods right um, here you see people what, what's going to happen is uh, this is a pneumatic stepper okay and uh, the step value is 0 0.005 now when I say the step value is 0 0.005 it actually means that whenever I increment or decrement um, it goes up or down by this much okay the min that it's gonna accept is uh, 100 the max that it's gonna accept is a thousand now these these values were, were actually declared in the component parameters when I pulled up the uh, numeric stepper onto the stage now this value in the color red dark red ns value is the same that is actually popping up out here in the numeric stepper okay now this is the main value 100.005 which is being converted to 101 out here to the math dot seal uh, method of the math class being converted to 100 uh, because of math dot floor method of the math class math and uh, when we use the math dot round method of the math class actually can, getting converted to 100 when you're using the random method this is the value that we get and this is the value that you get when you use the precision method and this uh, two precision method and this is the value that you get when you use the two fix method okay now <coughs> although uh, these are very important methods people uh, I think I'll need to explain what exactly they do okay now let's talk about the math.seal method of the math class first now this is the number in question 100.005 now what the math.seal method actually does is it bumps up the number to the next uh, highest integer whole number it'll all, whether it's math.seal floor or round it will always give you a whole number okay but the math.seal will take it towards the ceiling okay not the floor towards the ceiling that means upwards it'll bump up the number and the next higher up number uh, after uh, 100.005 is actually 101 that's the reason you see 101 out here okay the math.floor method actually does just the reverse it bumps down the number that is the reason to the, the you know to a whole number so it'll bump down the number and the number it actually gives you is 100 uh, what the math.round actually does is if it's if it finds that it's uh, you know over a uh, number point 0.5 then it'll bump up the number if it's over a uh, number point uh, 0.5 it's lower than that it'll bump down the number so depending on whether it's you know in uh, if the fraction is above 0.5 or, or if the fraction is actually below 0 0.5 it will bump up or bump down the number right uh, similarly what math.random does is it generates a number between 0 and this value 100.005 okay uh, any number that is between this range okay what the uh, math you know the the two precision method actually does is uh, whatever the number uh, it will make sure that only four digits are displayed since I'm using the two precision and in the brackets four this number in the brackets is very important which means it's going to display only four digits altogether uh, using the two precision method and setting it to a number will ensure that the maximum number of digits that will display uh, it's not about the maximum number of digits in fact it will display no matter what it will display four digits no matter what okay so that's exactly what is happening out here one is uh, the first digit zero is the second zero is the third and this zero is the fourth digit doesn't consider the decimal so in all it's going to display four digits with the two precision method now two fix method uh, and setting it to two actually displays two digits after the decimal point and that's exactly what is happening out here okay people uh, have a look what happens as I change these numbers 
okay you can see it's always a four digit number out here through the two precision method it's always fixed to two decimal um, you know the fraction uh, is always set to two digits after the decimal number and uh, the random number is any number between zero and this number out here in the red okay uh, mass dot seal bumps up the number math dot flow or bumps down the number uh, math dot round method of the math class uh, checks if the fraction is over 0.5 it'll bump up the number if it's below that it's bump it's got to bump down the number through the seal the floor in the round methods we always get the next higher up whole number or the next lower down uh, whole numbers only it works only with integers okay uh, we don't get fractions with these methods of the math class okay people uh, time we actually understand what's exactly there on the state and what's inside the action script okay <coughs> it's pretty simple people the topmost layer is the action script layer which is actually hosting the script the uh, middle layer is the numeric stepper see when I actually hide it you can see the numeric stepper component uh, which is this actually disappear so the middle layer is holding the numeric stepper component where do you get the components from you have to click on this icon okay have a look that I'm in the essentials uh, workspace people and then you need to click on this uh, components and you can pull out the numeric stepper component from here okay then I've given it an instance name NS and capital S small uh, instance names are case sensitive when they're used in the script so I can uh, in the script uh, call this numeric stepper through this name right and the third field people the bottom most field is the text fields layer which actually is hosting all these text fields so this is the uh, this is a classic dynamic text field dynamic because the value is going to change this is also classic dynamic all these text fields that I'm highlighting one by one are classic and dynamic text fields people they've been uh, given instance name of ns value math seal math floor math round math random math uh, sorry to precision and uh, to fixed these were the instance names chosen by me you could have you could have chosen a different name that's absolutely all right okay and these labels are actually classic static text field static because they will not be changing they will be constant throughout it's just a label so all these are actually uh, classic and static text fields so whether it's classic or static or whether it's actually uh, uh, classic or dynamic uh, how do you create these text fields you just need to click on this uh, T symbol for the text tool and draw out these text fields okay once you do that you can actually decide the color of the text the size of the text what font family that you want to use okay once you decide that people uh, you can make sure whether you want to align the numbers left right or center or justify them okay uh, you can set the behavior to a single line or a multi line right and it's always a good idea to embed the font by hitting the embed button so whichever font you're actually using for the um, for this example you need to embed it by hitting the embed button selecting the options uppercase lowercase numerals and punctuations uh, putting the font name out here and saying okay that'll embed the font for you it'll then appear in the library like this right cool so that's all there on the stage people you have a, a numeric stepper uh, instance name ns this has an instance name uh, ns value because this is going to display the uh, numeric stepper value this is math seal that is the you know the instance name this is math flow this is math round this is math random this is to precision and this is to fixed instance name right okay so now that we understand what exactly is there on the stage let's check out what's there in the scripts it's a very simple and short script people yeah let me get it inside the view okay i've added an event listener to the ns and is nothing but the numeric stepper uh, the event is of uh, specifically of the type chain so whenever uh, the values inside the numeric stepper actually changes <coughs> i would want to fire a function display values but before that let me show you something the moment i select the numeric stepper uh, in the component parameters you can set in different values you can see that I've actually set the current value as uh, 1 okay 
uh, the step size that we talked about earlier has been set to 0 0.005 that is the value that will increment or decrement every time it's uh, uh, you know taken up or taken down this is the min value and this is the max value these min max and these step values are something that you can actually decide okay uh, in fact even even though I keep the current value as 1 it's always gonna be the minimum so it's as good as saying 100 because the, which is the minimum value actually right so people that's cool let's get back inside the actions panel there we are okay so let's understand this function display values um, you need the format is that you need to pass the <coughs> event in the parents which I have done out here and then define the function so the function is pretty simple people in one text field through the text property I'm displaying the value of the numeric step and adding a string to it so you can notice that after every uh, number this is a number this is a number you see uh, you need to add a string to it an empty string so that the number actually um, you know adding a number to a string converts the whole thing to a string and only then through the text property can you display it inside a text field these are text fields people Okay, math seal, math flow, math round, math random, two precision and two fix that we had talked about earlier. And through the text property, we can only feed inside it a string, not a number. These are all numbers, okay, on the left hand side. But the moment you add an empty string to it, it's an empty string, the number gets converted to a string. And only then you can feed it inside the uh, text field. So that is exactly what we are uh, doing out here. So in one of the text fields, we are displaying the value of the numeric stepper. In the other text field, uh, through the math.seal method, we are displaying the number equivalent to math.seal. Through the math.floor, we are bumping down the number. This is bumping up the number. This is rounding the number. So if the fraction is above 0.5, it will bump up the number. If it's uh, below uh, you know, 0.5, the number is actually bumped down. When you multiply math.random parent parent into the numeric stepper value, you get a value between 0 and the numeric stepper value right and uh, just in case I didn't want the uh, the fraction what I could have done is I could have used the int uh, just before the whole uh, number like this you know like this and now the uh, value that will get will always be an integer and not a fraction let me prove my point let me save the file first with control enter 2 simulate and people this time the random number generated out here will always be an integer or a whole number will never be a fraction because I've used the int just before uh, the uh, formula which this formula I've used the int before that is going to generate uh, only an integer now right the two precision method uh, if set to four will make sure that the total digits displayed uh, barring the decimal num you know the decimal is actually four so I've uh, set the NS uh, value, then put a dot and then true precision method set to 4. So total number of dis uh, displayed digits 4. Uh, that is being pushed into this, uh, you know, the value is being pushed into this two precision text field through the text property. Okay. In the two fixed uh, text field through the text property, I'm pushing in uh, the NS value, which is subject to the two fixed method. So I'm uh, setting the two fixed to a two, which means that I'll be able to see just two decimal numbers. If I set it to one, see, you'll uh, be able to see just one number after the decimal uh, point. Uh, let me prove my point by hitting control enter and uh, people have a look out here as I change the values there's just one uh, digit that actually appears after the uh, decimal number okay so these are a uh, few very important uh, methods of the math class people I hope with this example uh, things have really become uh, pretty clear as to how they actually work so I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial and uh, learned uh, a lot from it and I hope to see you uh, come back for more. You have a good day guys. Bye-bye. Peace.